Hi, this is Mr. Minnick introducing my Java students to for loops. A for loop in Java is created by typing the keyword for, followed by a set of parentheses and three important parts within those parentheses. So I'm going to start you out with two semicolons that can be used to separate the three parts of a for loop. You should always put the body of a for loop in its own set of parentheses or, I'm sorry, curly braces. You should put the body of a for loop in a set of curly braces. That's extremely good style, even though in some cases you don't need the curly braces if the body of the for loop only has one line of code. So here we have a for loop that has one system out print statement inside that prints hello world. Well, we need to fill in the three parts of a for loop. The first part before that first semicolon is called the initializing expression. This is where you would create a variable such as i and start it out at some, uh, at some value like 1. And then in the middle part of the for loop is where you set the control expression that's either true or false. I'm just going to uh, type in i less than 5. So i less than 5 is true when i is 1 and it will still be true when i is 2, and it will still be true when i is 3, etc. This last part of the for loop over here to the far right is where we put the incrementing expression, sometimes called the step expression. I'm going to put the classic i++ there. i++ in Java means add 1 to the, to the variable i. I could have typed i equals i plus 1. I could have put in that traditional counter statement, but it's just more terse and more fashionable to use the incrementing operator known as the plus plus symbol in Java to uh, effectively add one. Okay, I'm going to close down the spacing there the way I typically uh, type it and let's run the program. Oh, i is not declared as a local variable. So I do have to first declare i as a variable. To do that, you type its data type int i and probably for good style, you should set it equal to zero with a semicolon there and a blank line for good measure. There, that's a working program. Let's click Execute. And over here, we have a, an out-of-memory error. Okay, so when I uh, execute the program, it prints out Hello World four times. Did you print me my face yet? So there we go. We have a for loop that iterates four times. It printed out hello world four times. If I put an equal symbol in, a less than or equal to symbol, it will go from one, two, three, four, and including five. Watch. Five iterations in this case because I do go up to five. It's classic in computer science to start your loop variable at zero and then to use a strictly less than symbol to uh, arrive at five iterations. So one last time here, we have five iterations, although the website that we're using here is giving us an error message. There it is. Have a good day.